Uh, I'm actually in the garden of the Alfonso the 13th Hotel in Seville and I'm attending the Omni Conference but I wanted to tell you what uh, some of the things that are that are going on in the um, in the April magazine that I think you'll, you'll like. I mean, there's loads of stuff, of course, as always, but uh, some of the things that I think you'll particularly enjoy. There's a, an interview with Bill Grable, and Bill's always good value. He's got, always got plenty to say. His uh, organisation has a, a series of um, uh, conferences, of mini-conferences every year, uh, called Inside Mobility. I think he does three of them. And he produces a report um, at the end of, of that process uh, to explain something about the, all the, the, um, the main topics that have come up during those, those uh, conferences. And he touches on, on all kinds of things. He talks about um, uh, what he calls the, the relationship between high-tech and high-touch mobility, um, how, much, how much should be done by technology and how much needs to be done by people and so on. Uh, he talks about uh, artificial intelligence, about return on investment. He even touches on Brexit, so quite an interesting story. I suggest you have a, a quick look at, um, at that one. Um, uh, I went over to, um, to, ba to, to Thailand, uh, Bangkok and Chiang Mai, to attend the ARA uh, conference, the um, Asian Relocation Association conference, and the IMA conference as well. It was in Bangkok afterwards. Um, if you've ever been to those, then um, I, I, I think I said in the story that, that um, anybody that says that all the conferences around the world are the same um, really hasn't been to very many because those, those are two that were in the same, in the same uh, country um, of immediately following each other and they were totally different from each other and uh, I, you know, they're, they're not all the same at all. Good in their own way, but totally different. So have a read of that, and you'll 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 see what I mean. Yeah, there's a story about I've called it "What's in the Back." It's it's about clandestines, um, particularly when uh, for vehicles coming from Europe into the UK. A big problem, of course, with with people uh, getting in the back and, and um, uh, stowing away. Quite whether anybody's going to want to continue doing that after Brexit or not, I don't know. Uh, but uh, mixed, mixed emotions there, I suppose. Uh, but it is a big problem if you find that you've, that you, or if you think that you've got somebody in the back of your truck. And this story talks about the about the legal position. So I suggest you uh, have a look at that if you're a driver or if you're running fleets. So at least then you'll be able to advise your drivers about what to do. Anyway, there's lots of things in the magazine. One thing that um, uh, I was sad to have to put in was the. Um, a, 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 just a very brief acknowledgement of the death of Mark Dearborn from uh, Arpen, who was killed in a car crash uh, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, that's a very sad thing, and, and uh, obviously my condolences to all those who knew him. Uh, anyway, uh, that's all for now. Enjoy reading the magazine. This, of course, is the last one that we're printing. Um, from now on, the magazine will be digital only, and you will see a lot of differences. Uh, it's not just uh, because the, the printed version did, to some extent, uh, mean that we were, we were handicapped in what we could do. With a digital one, then uh, we can do a lot more with it, and that, you will begin to notice the difference, I'm sure. I hope you enjoy it anyway. Talk to you next time. Bye.